Yeah. No, they know. Now I know these. What's going on now? All right. They work. They do work for us. They're the ones that actually do the work up there. That's what we're doing. We're getting money to continue to do the work and employ people oh, from the community. Oh, okay. That's, That's what we up to, so. I need a job. Yeah, all, all right. <laughs> Don't mind doing the work. I know that's right. <laughs> this corner that we on is an interesting corner. This used to be a crack house. And it's interesting because we uh, have purchased this building and now we literally sitting right here in the corner to be the salt and to be the light. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> a place where our unemployment rate is for over 50%, three times the rate of poverty as anywhere else in California. Yeah. You enjoy Saturday? And what our goal is to do here is actually to train men uh, for the ministry, train men to be ministers in the urban area and in the city and house them here while they're going through training. This will be our transformational house. Well, the problem really is that our urban churches aren't reproducing at the rate that they need to. Suburban churches are reproducing, they reproduce themselves, but the urban churches in under-resourced areas are not reproducing. And our goal is to provide leadership to help these churches to reproduce. We have guys that have come to us for training but they're being trained by me, and I'm not really an urban pastor. But we have these identified great urban pastors, guys who understand the dilemmas, the, the, the huge problems with marriage and families. Many of these pastors that are in these urban communities really don't have any help. Their churches are under-resourced, so they can't afford staff. And now we bring in staffing. We bring in men that are eager to learn and, and fulfill God's call in their life. This is the World Impact Transitional Home where we have the opportunity to really uh, change lives and impact our community. You know, it's interesting that Jesus said we ought to occupy until he come, and he gave us talents and abilities that we are to use to build the kingdom of God. And that's what we're doing here. We plan on actually having our men, our urban ministers and urban pastors in training uh, as they are learning, uh, getting a good theological uh, degree and theological content from Tumi. Uh, and then hopefully deploy it into the community, you have an opportunity to help us do that. They'll take courses, which is like an urban seminary, but they'll learn from urban pastors. They'll learn to pastor a church with hands-on opportunities with the local community right here in West Oakland and in Richmond and in San Francisco. This is uh, the site of our transitional home for the men that we are training and preparing to come back out to the community. And as you can see, it needs a lot of work and uh, we are grateful for the fact that um, uh, you will be supporting us in this work. And we plan on using local uh, contractors, local labor. And so uh, your monies will go to support uh, the labor of repairing this church. And we plan on just starting right from this corner, the worst corner in the 100 blocks area, to be the salt and the light. We believe, like the Bible said, the gates of hell should not be able to prevail against us. And we're gonna sit right here and we're gonna be the people of God that make this place uh, a place of peace, a place of restoration, and a place of renewal of hope. And we're doing that with your support. You know, one of the big disconnects that I see within suburban church and urban church is that there's, there's not one unified church the way it should stand that like we see in the Old Testament, we see in the New Testament. The church that had a lot gave to those that didn't have a lot. And there is a sense that we have this obligation to do that, but sometimes we're not sure if that, that money's used well or if you know the resources are being abused. And we would just love for churches to come and partner with us as we develop these new discipleship homes for World Impact. I would love for, in three years, for all our guys to be planting new churches in, in under-resourced areas, that then other churches would come alongside them and be able to support that ministry as well. So our goal is not really just this site here. Our goal is every poor neighborhood in the United States that they would have a, a leadership training home that supports the urban church in that area. Somebody's coming like a thief in the night My belief in the Christ is my peace in this life While they reach and they fight, while they preach and they write I teach the tour type that the good fights the good life Not that Kanye, I underlay and e